Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of summarizing numeric data. This is standard 6.12c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple data set. We've got these five numbers. Got a little story about lobster boats in Maine, but we just need, honestly, those five numbers. And then the question, what is it asking? It's asking for the range. Now, here's the problem. The word range is a vocabulary term, very important anytime you're looking at data, and it does not show up on your mathematics chart. There is no uh, cheat sheet, there's no hint on your formula chart at all, so you have to know what that means. So let's talk about what range means. So range is the spread of data. So how far apart is this data? And how to calculate it is actually fairly simple. So we are going to subtract And it's just simply going to be the highest minus the lowest. And that's going to give us our range. So once we remember it, it's actually fairly simple. Now, before we just jump into subtracting the first number and the last number, you always need to, number one, order your data. And in this case, uh, let's just go ahead and make it to least to greatest. That's always what makes the most sense to me. You could do it from greatest to least, but let's do least to greatest. Because then once we do that, that's when we can calculate the range. Let's see how far apart this data is from the lowest number to the highest number. We need to put these numbers in order, and that's where we need to bring in other skills like comparing and ordering. So even though this 551 is the very first number that's listed in this particular set here, it is not the lowest number. Our lowest number is going to be 529. They all start with the 5 in the hundreds place, so we have to go to the tens place next. And so let's renumber these as 529. Next, we've got 2 in the 30s. 534 is going to come after our 530. So we've got 530, 534. And we've got 2 in the 550s. 551, and then 554. Now that we have this, this is what our range is. It's, how far is it from here, pretend it's on a number line, all the way up to here. So if we were to make this a number line, right, and these are little spots on our number line, we're just looking for the spread, how far apart is this. And so 551, actually 554, minus 529, well, that's going to get you a range of 25. And you see that is our option here. So D here is going to be our answer of 25. Now, how do we get these other incorrect? Well, in case you haven't found it by now, this 21 is probably going to be our most chosen incorrect answer. Take a look at this 21. Because if I didn't reorder my numbers, if I just took my first number, 551, and I took the last number in this list, 530, guess what you're going to get? You are going to find that 21. So C21 is going to be an incorrect answer because they didn't put the data set in order. Now, A... 534, 534 is just simply a number. It's just one of the five numbers. And so if you have no idea what range is, you might choose A because it's the only number from our answer selections, A, B, C, and D, that actually shows up in our data set. So you think you have to choose just one of the numbers. And then there's 540. I've got no idea how to calculate 540. It's not the mean. It's close to the mean, but not the the mean and it just doesn't make any sense but it's just also an incorrect answer so our answer is d